Hi, Nicola Askin here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And this week's question is, what is data custodianship? Now, it sounds like a very simple question, but I've been asked it several times since my, I published my recent videos on data ownership and data stewardship. So it really made sense that we should look at this one soon. So what is data custodianship? Well, before I dive into the detail, I just wanted to make it clear that, you know, Different people use different terms differently in data governance. Now, I think that's fine because some terms might not suit the culture of your organization, but I think it's just something to be very wary of, particularly when you're perhaps Googling terms online or you're new to an organization. Don't assume that when they say data custodianship, they mean what I'm going back about to tell you. This is, um, you know, and, and it's something that is, is okay because I think sometimes some terminology and role names just don't work in certain organizations. So that's fine. But don't jump to conclusions. Always be mindful of definitions. So if somebody uses a term like data custodian, ask them what they mean by that and who that is. And then you're very clear and you're on the same page and can have meaningful and useful conversations. So I expect you're waiting to hear what I mean by data custodians. So when I talk about data custodians, I talk about IT. You know, the last couple of videos I've done on data ownership and data stewardship have all been about the business and the business who have to step up and, and play roles uh, in, in managing, understanding and managing the quality of our data properly. But I don't think that means that IT is off the hook and they do have a um, very important role to play. And I sum that up really briefly by saying that they're responsible for maintaining the data on your systems in accordance with the business's requirements. Now, that sounds quite simple, but, you know, quite often in an organization before data governance has been introduced, the business may have a wrong impression that IT own the data because it's on their systems. And they may be expecting IT to make decisions on how to move data from one system to another or perhaps how to transform it as it's loaded to a new system. Um, and honestly, I don't believe that IT should be making this up for you. They can certainly advise because they've got technical expertise that as business users, we don't have. But they shouldn't be up to IT to have to work it out for themselves. But because, you know, before you've ever considered having data governance in your organization, people traditionally don't think about the business owning the data, that they're not very good at articulating their requirements to IT. And so IT have to do the best they can. Um, and sometimes this can lead to them being blamed for things, which I think is somewhat unfair because sometimes they've just done the best they can with very poor requirements from the business. So being a data custodian is all about maintaining data on systems, moving data between systems, aggregating it, transforming it, but all in accordance with business requirements. And, you know, when I work with IT departments, uh, my clients, they're always really pleased about this because it gives them very clear requirements and very obvious people to go to to talk about making such decisions. So if they have a data owner, they can go and ask them what they want rather than second guessing and asking the only person they know in the business who might know something about that. So this is a really good way of starting to break down some silos and starting to get the business to understand what happens to the data when it's on systems. So IT do all this stuff anyway, it's just that they've done it previously without perhaps the input from the business that they should have. So having a data governance framework in place and identifying IT as data custodians is a really good way to start improving um, communications and making you know, consistent holistic decisions about data. Now, there's just one more thing I wanted to say on data custodians. Now, when I'm talking about data owners and data stewards, I'd always recommend that you go and find named individuals for those roles. But I think the opposite is true when it comes to data custodians, because generally, I would say the whole of your IT department are data custodians. But because you've got many different areas of expertise and disciplines within an IT department, no one person will know absolutely everything about that system to be the data custodian for it. So I usually just say that IT are the data custodians for all the data that's held on IT supported systems at your organization. So I hope that's helped clarify things. And don't forget, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in one of these future videos, please just email them in to questions at nicolaaskham.com.